Hello learners, uh, welcome to our session today. I am your instructor, CPA Ringo Frederick. In our session today, it is a continuation of what you are doing earlier on. Recall in our last class, uh, we had introduced the aspect to do with, uh, talk about uh, the aspect of operation of matrices. In our session today, I want us to talk about application of matrices. And uh, you will find that uh, matrices is always or many a times is uh, used in our day-to-day -day business activities so it will be very important for us to understand each and every concept behind application of matrices so looking at application of matrices number one application that you must always be very good at this is uh, number one talk about uh, the aspect to do with uh, in solving simultaneous equation that is uh, of course solving simultaneous equations uh, solving Simultaneous equation, solving simultaneous, solving simultaneous equation, simultaneous equations. That is number one application. Talk about the aspect to do with the input output matrix. Talk about the aspect to do with the input output, input output analysis, input output analysis, input output analysis. Of course, input output analysis is a concept of uh, economic factors whereby we normally tend to say whatever that you produce, of course, is the one that you are going to kind of uh, generate. And also, it depends with how the market will behave. Talk about number three, we normally tend to talk about this is a uh, Markov process. Markov, Markov process. Markov process. <laughs> So these are the main application of matrices that we'll be talking about. And uh, in our class today, I want us to start with the first one, and that is solving simultaneous equations. Using matrices in solving simultaneous equation, that is what I want us to start with. So solving simultaneous equation, uh, solving simultaneous equation, solving simultaneous equation, solving simultaneous equations, solving simultaneous equations equations solving simultaneous equations so this is a uh, one application the first application that allowed us to concentrate on i know by now we are very familiar whenever we're looking of simultaneous equation basically it's not a new term 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 at all so in solving simultaneous equation using matrix normally tend to use uh, two ways that is of course normally consider the inverse method and also we normally tend to talk about what is known as what Kramer's rule so in solving this we say that we'll be talking of uh, two that is uh, number one talk about uh, Kramer's rule talk about Kramer's rule Kramer's rule Kramer's rule in solving simultaneous equation in solving or uh, rather just Kramer's rule and number two inverse method inverse method so these are the two ways that we are going to use or methods that we are going to use in solving uh, in solving simultaneous equation so in that case I want us to jump straight to Kramer's rule I want us to jump straight to Kramer's rule and see what that will entail so let's jump straight to Kramer's rule let's jump straight to Kramer's rule Kramer's rule let's jump straight to Kramer's rule so anytime you're looking at a uh, Kramer's rule, my good students, some certain concepts must always tend to click at the back of our mind. This is, of course, you'll always be looking at a case whereby I'm given a form of matrix here. Given this form of matrix, in that case, you normally tend to use a concept known as what? Replacement method. In that, we will be talking of uh, various uh, uh, components, which we normally term it as a replacement column. We normally term it as what? Replacement, replacement column. We normally term it as replacement column. Take for example, for me, or rather for us to understand this concept clearly, take for example this illustration. Let us start by two by two matrix. Let us start by two by two matrix. By now, I know we are very familiar. Anytime you're looking for matrices, we are very familiar with that order of the matrix. Looking at two by two, Take for example this case, I'm having this illustration of ours. I'm having say like, uh, I'm having, uh, we can have a say 2x plus uh, 
2x minus say like uh, 5y which would be equal to 7 then we also do have a uh, say like uh, I'm having x plus 6y this would give us 9 this is a one equation that I want us to look at this is a one equation that I want us to consider and look at I want us to use a uh, simultaneous I want us to use a uh, Kramer's rule so in Kramer's rule, in Kramer's rule, what I want us to focus on and understand, this is what you are terming it as what? As a replacement. This is what you are terming it as replacement column. That's the first thing that we need to understand. That is what you are terming it as replacement column. So step number one in solving this case, my good students, step number one, we need to determine what is known as what? As base matrix. We need to determine what is known as a base matrix. And how do you determine our base matrix? So clearly, if we want to determine our base matrix, in this case, as if you're talking about here, I'm talking of 2, that is a minus 5, right? X, Y, I'm having 1, this is 6. Which, in this case, you're going to multiply by X and Y to give us what? 7. And nine that is what we should be having from this equation we can derive a matrix form in this case from that equation we can derive a matrix form in this case whereby in this case we find that I'm having uh, two the other is uh, of course two X minus five Y so you are taking two minus five then you're having X the first bit then we talk of Y uh, in that case uh, we're talking of X plus 6y. So I'm having 1 and 6, which are in this case, uh, uh, xy is equal to uh, 7, 7, or uh, 7, 9. These are matrix, right? So what you are going to say that, uh, you see this, this is what you are going to term it as what? As our base matrix. This is what you are going to term it as our base, as our base matrix. That is what you are going to term it as our base matrix. So uh, step number one, you've said is to determine our base matrix base matrix and our base matrix that is our base matrix step number two at this point my good students let us determine the determinant of our base matrix let us determine the determinant of our base matrix recall determination of our visa step number two we're saying we want to determine determinant of the base matrix determinant of the base matrix determinant of the base matrix and how you determine the determinant of the base matrix my good students this will be very simple recall for us to determine determinant we normally tend to talk about product of primary diagonal minus product of secondary diagonal that is what will give us our determinant product of primary diagonal minus product of the secondary diagonal that is what will give us what our determinant or in that case, therefore, uh, we should be having uh, we should be having this case now. I should be talking of a uh, product. Take our base matrix. Our base matrix we've said we should be having zero, or rather two minus five, one and six. Two minus five, one and six. These are base matrix. So how will we determine? How will we determine our? How will we determine our? our determinant product of primary diagonal of course we mentioned and now i know we are very uh, very very good in identifying our primary diagonal right we say that our primary diagonal will be a figure or rather we're going to start from our first element of our matrix going parallel we are kind of cutting across like that so this is what you're terming it as what as our primary diagonal starting from uh, the top left to the bottom to the bottom right any figure that will lie in between that will give us our primary diagonal and of course so this is our primary diagonal this is our primary diagonal primary diagonal and of course this should give us what our secondary diagonal so therefore at this point you can confidently come and determine our determinant so therefore determinant would be 2 by 6 we less what? 1 minus negative 5. 
So that should give us a determinant to be equal to what? That should give us a determinant to be equal to, we should be talking of a, of course here we should be talking of a, I'm having 2 by 6 minus a 1 by negative 5. That should give us a figure of 17. That should give us 17, right? So that would be our determinant, which again, we must have very well, or we must always tend to, to recall that procedure. After we determine the product of our primary diagonal, my good students, if you are to talk of our step number, if you are to talk of our step number three, this is the most important uh, step. We should come and determine, determine the determinant of the numerator, mat of the numerator matrix determine determine the determinant or rather determinant we are talking of a determinant we need to determine the determinant of the numerator matrix numerator matrix numerator matrix numerator matrix and the question will be how will we determine the numerator matrix at this point, this is where the concept of replacement uh, column will kick in. This is where the concept of replacement column will kick in. Take, for example, this case. Take, for example, this case. I'm having our matrix. Remember this case, what we had here? We had 2, negative 5, 1, 6. Ignore x and y. In this case, we should be having... 7, 9, right? So, our replacement column, this is what you are having it as our replacement column. This is what you, are, this is what you termed it as a replacement column. That is what you termed it as a replacement column. Okay? So, we are going to replace, in this case, because we baptize that uh, with a replacement column, now we can agree that 2 and 1, these are our values of x and these are our value of y. If I want to determine the value of x, if we want to determine the value of x, what you are going to do is to replace the values of x with what? Our replacement column. In this case, my good students, Molimu is saying that if we want to determine the value of x, what you are going to do is to replace this column is to replace the matrix or rather the column of x with what? With the replacement column. So in our matrix here, we can agree in this case, we should be talking of 7, 9. In that case, we've replaced that, which in this case, I'm having 7, 9 and negative 5, 6. So that is what we should be having. That is what we should be having. So this is what you are going to term it as what? As determinant of the numerator matrix or rather that is these are these are numerator matrix of course you can proceed and determine the determinant on that so the determinant of this numerator matrix which as the end of the day of course you know very well that Kramer's rule will have determinant of the numerator matrix we divide by the determinant of the base matrix which will reach there so let us determine this determinant of the numerator matrix to determine the determinant of the numerator matrix, of course, you can do for x and y. So you can do for x and y. So that as at the end of the day, make sure that here we are saying, we are talking of, we are going to divide this by the determinant of the base. What about my good students if you are to determine the numerator matrix for y? If you are to determine the numerator matrix for y, what you are going to do, we are going to replace our values of y with what? Our replacement matrix or other replacement column. So if I was to replace y, in this case, we should be talking of uh, uh, 2, 1. Remember our base matrix or our original matrix. I'm going now to replace this is x, this is y. We're going to replace our y with what? Our replacement column, which in this case, we should be talking of 7 and 9. So that at the end of the day, we should just determine, determine that one. We are going to divide that one by the determinant determinant of the base determinant of the base matrix determinant of the base matrix so solving this let us determine the determinant of the numerator matrix 
product of primary diagonal minus product of secondary diagonal. So primary diagonal is 7 by 6 in this case, right? In this case, you are going to deduct by uh, 9 times negative 5. That should give us what? That should give us determinant of that numerator matrix. That should give us a figure of how much? 7 by 6 minus uh, 9 times negative 5. So that should give us it a 7. That should give us it a 7. At this point, remember, we had already determined the determinant of the base. We had already determined the determinant of the base. Actually, I've jumped several steps ahead, right? So determinant of the base in this case, we had 17. Remember, the determinant of the base matrix, determinant of the base matrix, determinant of the base matrix, we had 17. So therefore, we are going to divide this one by 17. So that would give us our value of x. What about value of y? For value of y, the same case, product of primary diagonal 2 by 9, with less product of secondary diagonal 1 by 7. So that at the end of the day, that should give us what? That should give us, of course, 2 by 9 minus 1 by 7. That should give us 11. So we're going to have 11 there. And of course, determinant of the base matrix will not change. I should be having 17. So having up to that point, you can now clearly come and determine the values of x and y. And how will we determine the values of x and y? That will be simple because I'll just be taking now at a 7 we divide by 17. That should give us x to be 5. And y, that should give us 11 divided by 17. That should give us uh, x to be, um, getting y to be uh, 0 0.6. 0 0.6 5. So that's the figure that you're getting, and kindly you can confirm with Molimu. Kindly you can confirm if we are getting the same, same answers. Kindly you can confirm if we are on the right track, all of us. Kindly you can confirm if you are on the right track. So confidently, we can come and say that, therefore, in this case, we've solved our matrix by determining the value of x to be 5, whereas value of y to be 0 0.65. 0 0.65. In that case, you are looking at what? In that case, you are looking at 2 by 2 matrix. So in our next session, my good students, we are going to use Kramer's rule, but in this case, we will be looking at what? 3 by 3 matrix. See how, how it will happen. How it will happen. In our next case, you're going to look at Kramer's rule, but in that case, you're going to use what? 3 by 3 matrix illustration. To that point, thank you so much and let us meet in the next session. Thank you.